Number 10 is the Gewehr 43. The G43 is a semi-automatic rifle chambered in 7.92 by 57mm Mauser round. The rifle is fed from a 10-round stamped steel detachable box magazine, which was intended to be loaded using 5-round K98 K-stripper clips without removing the magazine. The design was based on the earlier G41, but incorporated an improved short-stroke piston gas system similar to that in the Soviet Tarkarev SVT-40. The simpler, sturdier design of the G43 made it lighter, easier to produce, more reliable, and also much tougher than the previous unreliable G41. Elite German mountain troops used it as ladder rungs during climbing. After the war, it stayed in service with the Czechoslovak People's Army for several years. Also, the East German border troops and police were issued reworked G43 rifles. From 1943 to 1945, over 400,000 were produced. Number 9 is the FG-42. This weapon was developed specifically for the use of airborne infantry in 1942. It combined the firepower of a light machine gun like the MG-42, in a lightweight form, no larger than the standard issue K-98K bolt-action rifle. It's feeding from 20-round magazines loaded from the side of the rifle. The operating system was derived from that used in the successful Lewis light machine gun, with a gas piston actuated turning bolt locking mechanism. Considered one of the most advanced weapon designs of the Second World War, the FG-42 influenced post-war small arms development. Most of its design was copied in the M60 machine gun. It's so low on this list because only 7,000 were produced, but there are modern reproduction versions available on the market. Number 8 is the MG-34. It's a recoil-operated, air-cooled weapon first tested in 1929 and adopted in 1936. It was the most advanced machine gun in the world at the time of its deployment. So the MG-34 is generally considered the world's first general-purpose machine gun. Its combination of exceptional mobility and high rate of fire up to 900 rounds per minute was unmatched. In the field, the weapon could operate in offensive or defensive applications. In offensive mode, the soldier used a drum magazine that could hold either 50 or 75 rounds of ammunition. In a stationary defensive role, the gun was mounted on a bipod or a tripod and fed by an ammunition belt. Nevertheless, the design proved to be too complex for mass production and was supplemented by the cheaper and simpler MG42. However, both remained in service and production until the end of the Second World War. Almost 580,000 MG34s were produced. Number 7 is the MP40. The MP40 is a simplification of the MP38 with some cost-saving alterations. The biggest difference was the more extensive use of stamped steel and spot welding rather than machined elements. Thanks to that, the MP40 could be produced in larger numbers. Although it was quite reliable, its weak spot was 32-round double-column single-feed insert magazine. It resulted in increased friction against the remaining cartridges, which was sometimes causing feeding failures. It's often mistakenly called the Schmeiser, despite Hugo Schmeiser having no involvement in the weapon's design. He only held a patent on the magazine. After the war, submachine guns captured by the Allies were redistributed to the armies and irregular forces of some developing countries. It was even used by Norway to the year 1990, when it was replaced by the German-made H&K MP5. Number 6 is the Walther P38. It's notable for pioneering the double-action mechanism in automatic pistols. Comparable single-action designs of that time were not safe to carry with a round in the chamber for fear of an accidental discharge if the gun was dropped. Furthermore, it also featured a loaded chamber indicator. In its time, it was an outstanding design. The operator of a Walther P38 could chamber a round, use a decocking lever to safely lower the hammer without firing the round, and carry the weapon loaded. This feature is found in many modern pistols. This handgun is fed from an 8-round single-stack magazine. In 1963, West Germany adopted the Walther P1 pistol, which was based on the earlier P38 and was produced to the year 2000. Overall, 
about 1 million P-38 pistols were made during the Second World War. Number 5 is the Panzerschreck. Its design is based on the American bazooka. The Panzerschreck was larger and it noticeably heavier than its American counterpart. Compared to the 60mm caliber of the bazooka, its 88mm caliber provided slightly longer effective range and noticeably better armor penetration, but it also produced more smoke when firing. The Panzerschreck could penetrate 100mm of armor using early war rockets and 160mm with rockets developed later in the war. The Panzerschreck's combat success caused the bazooka to be completely redesigned at the end of the war. A larger 90mm model was adopted, called the M20 Super Bazooka. The Panzerschreck was made in smaller numbers than the Panzerfaust. Nevertheless, this highly effective weapon inflicted serious damage to many Allied tanks. Number 4 is the Mauser K98K. Mauser K98K is based on the earlier Mauser G98 system. Just like its predecessor, the rifle was reliable, highly accurate, and effective at a range up to 500 meters. The straight bolt handle found on the G98 was replaced by a turned down bolt handle on the K98K. This change made it less difficult to rapidly operate the bolt handle and enable mounting optics directly above the receiver. The rifle is feeding from stripper clips containing five rounds. The K98K was one of the final developments in the long line of Mauser military rifles. During World War II, was seen in many battles, not only on the German side. Millions were captured by the Russians and were widely redistributed as military aid. Therefore, the K98K continues to appear in conflicts across the world. Furthermore, its action is copied in many modern rifles. Number 3 is the STG-44. The STG-44 provided a compromise between the controllable firepower of a submachine gun at close quarters with the accuracy and the power of the Mauser K98K rifles at longer ranges. The STG-44 is chambered in 7.92 by 33mm round and is fed from 30 round magazines. The magazine follower spring had a short service life, so soldiers were ordered to load no more than 25 rounds to reduce the wear of the spring. In January 1945, a new magazine was introduced, fitted with a fixed plug to restrict its capacity to 25 rounds. One unusual addition to the design was the Krumlauf, a bent barrel attachment for rifles with a periscope sighting device for shooting around corners from a safe position. However, it was as deadly to the enemy as it was the user. The STG-44 had a major impact on modern infantry small arms development giving rise to an entire class of weapons borrowing the name Assault Rifle, which was suggested by Adolf Hitler himself. Number 2 is the MG42. The MG42 was a cheap and simple-to-produce alternative to the previous MG34. The MG42's barrel is quick-removable and can be replaced in less than 6 seconds by properly trained soldiers. The MG42 has a proven record of reliability, durability, and ease of operation, but it is most notable for its ability to produce a high volume of suppressive fire, averaging around 1200 rounds per minute. The distinctive sound caused by the high cyclic fire rate give rise to the nickname Hitler's Buzzsaw. It was adopted by several armies after the war and was both copied and built under license. Number 1 is the Panzerfaust. The Panzerfaust is an inexpensive, single-shot, recoilless anti-tank weapon. It consists of a small, disposable, preloaded launch tube firing a highly explosive anti-tank warhead. This weapon was intended to be operated by a single soldier. The Panzerfaust was in use from 1943 until the end of the war. This simple but effective weapon proved to be devastating against Allied tanks during the second half of the war, and more importantly, it set the pattern for most post-war developments in the field of man-portable anti-tank weapons. Its concept played an important role in the development of the later Russian RPG weapon system, such as the RPG-2. Most notably, the RPG-7 added a sustainer rocket motor to the grenade. Thanks to its small cost, 
Germany produced several million of various Panzerfausts before the end of the war. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, visit our second channel with military power comparisons. See you next time.